We're starting to look them up, okay? All right, and they're going to do a bilateral movement, both limbs moving at the same time, the same speed. They're also still using some of these primitive reflexes, okay? So you have this symmetrical tonic neck prone, which when this happens, it tends to curl up. So you go like this, okay? And they're going to go around, and they're going to go here. <laughs> And then that. they want to look up. They want to see where they are. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're exhibiting the symmetrical tonic neck supine, right? Which means that when they when their their neck extends like this, hyperextends, it causes them to extend and hyperextend their back. So now they can look around. They're not where they want to go. Kaboom! And there they go. Both arms, both legs at the same time, okay? Bilateral movement. Later on, they learn to inhibit these reflexes. They get a little bit more stable, and they do a cross-lateral problem. And I call this creeping. I call the first one crawling, the other one creeping. Half the motor developmental is for flipping, okay? I don't care as long as you know which one's the bilateral movement that it comes first, okay? And so now you have the cross-lateral. Opposite arm and leg. And they get really fast, right? <laughs> but now they're not inhibited by those reflexes. Okay? See how that works? Here, they're actually using the reflexes to their advantage, right? So they have them, they want to move around. Let's tell you who they are. So okay. really, we refer to crawling, crawling as, creeping. or creeping as crawling. Right. It just depends on which motor developmentalist you are. What we think of crawling is creeping. What she calls creeping. What, yeah, if you call this crawling, I call it creeping. But it's just, you know, like I said, you half the motor developmentalists agree with you. Okay? So.